Hello everybody. Uh welcome back to the What is this? I don't know what installment this is in the series, but really who cares? You're here for one thing anyway. If you actually clicked on this video, then you're here, hopefully I assume, for the Essex guide. Or setup guide, I guess, because one thing is I do not like doing edited videos for tech tree ships. I don't know why. Maybe for tier tens, who knows? But for now, since these are easy to produce and don't take much editing time, I just want to put something out. So uh, there you go, Essex. So big step up over the Lexington. As far as American carriers go, you're still Taiho. Uh, at this point, Japanese carriers are better than you at this tier. So uh, watch out for that. They have more squadrons, better uh, torpedo strike, but you get an extra dive bomber squadron. That is correct, folks. Instead of the 111 setup found on Lexington, you now get 112 with five fighters, uh, tier 9 planes, all of them. The dive bombers, you get two squadrons of four each. And so this it's essentially an enterprise minus the extra fighter and the awesomeness because enterprise is the best. But anyway, so focal points and stuff. You have the best AA of the tier nine carriers, obviously. I mean, at this point, American planes or American ships are AA powerhouses, and you will be being so. Its weakness is it is getting matched up against tier ten players. But that's also kind of a benefit because you'll be fighting like, let's see here, Yamatos, which have decent AA, but not enough to completely wipe out a strike. Whereas downside to that is these evil creatures such as Woosters and Des Moines can pretty much pop def AA and forget about your planes. So stay away from Des Moines. Uh... Anyway, so Essex, what makes her good? Uh, best health of all the planes, so you can kind of keep them over uh, enemy plane or enemy anti aircraft. The most dive bombers in the air at the t uh, of the tier, meaning you have higher chance to light bomb, so it's the best DOT carrier. However, you do sacrifice your torpedo game because you only have. A single squadron of five BTD ones so I mean like the reason I say the Taiho is better is purely for team play reasons now you could argue Essex is better because of the fighter squad but in terms of wiping out DDs you can one shot enemy destroyers pretty much from not hear you because that's the one with the three but Shokek and onwards you can one-shot destroyers if you can hit well enough. Now, Essex, you can't do that, so you're going to have to rely a bit more on luck for your bombers, which is okay, but if you want the skill-based, you probably should have been uh, grinding Japanese ships. But, uh, well, you have yourself an Essex, hopefully, or you're just watching this video. I don't even know. Point is... Uh... Well, point is, you're uh, you're here for a reason. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Essex is too expensive for me to put consumables on or equipment, but if I had to pick, I'd say ground service because your ground service is awful. It's not midway levels of stock midway. It is uh, what 25 seconds for a full wave to be ready again of bombers. Not fun. Not fun at all. This one, I don't think it's, uh, yeah, it's four seconds per dive bomber. That's quick maths. Uh, it's actually more like five seconds. So that's 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds per bomber. And, uh, or not per bomber, but 20 seconds total per squadron. Uh, so yeah, basically... What's the thing? Uh, TLDR, pretty sure. I don't know. I'm not into all that. But anyway, it's uh, it's fast. The ship hull itself is fast. Great AA. Good maneuverability. 
kind of crappy concealment. Second best air group of the tier. Essentially worst air group of the tier, but not by much. You get good fighters, good torpedo planes, and an extra bomber squadron to go along with it. So that's, uh, oh yeah, for commander skills. Oh crap, I don't have a commander. I actually got a commander on my enterprise, but obviously the rest of the uh, skills you've probably already been taking. Uh, dogfight specialist, obviously. Now, Dauntless Dive, and then if you wanted to, you could do Giant Hunter, or you could do Citadel Strike because of the... And these aren't AP bombs, but they do have a higher chance of... Uh, Alright, we're in a random battle. Action uh, stations! I wanna get my fighters up. Send strike out this way. Dive bomber squadron. Last turn I got torped torpedo by a destroyer that snuck out. all the way around the edge of the map to uh to torp me. <laughs> and he was of no use to his team whatsoever. Now, one funny thing that people still get killed by in terms of fighter play is the fake bait to where if Target you make it spotted. look like your fighters have uh, been baited but in reality you're just following the enemy fighters it works for some reason Attack they target. will follow you back and we just took a destroyer down for like 60 65% enemy of the aircraft HP. incoming enemy fighters engage right over my hull Strike wave is returning. Now, he's his uh, fighter wave is dead for the moment. And now we can focus on his strike. So, keep in mind your fighters are quite heavy and slow. So, yeah, there's the destroyer we kind of screwed over. And yep, now we're gonna protect our friendly Heisen Yang. Or nope, he is focusing our North Carolina. Strange. Benson we focused earlier is dead. Thanks to us. Uh, Akizuki. Akizuki is Dive bomber squadron. not that Take scary off. in terms of a power. Bomber squadron. Flying out. It's a destroyer. Torpedo bomber it's squadron. got dual purposes, Airborne. but it's, it's not too scary for AA. So, I mean, I'm not going to really avoid it, unlike Des Moines. The only one... The one ship I can think of that has concerning AA is Des Moines. Attack Other target. than that, and Destroying an enemy ship. The torpedoes on this thing do hit very hard, I gotta say. I mean, these are BTD-1 torpedo planes, so if you're familiar with the Midway, enemy fighters are baited. That was a close bait. I missed the button there for a moment, but you know what I'm saying? They got baited, and now let's engage right over our black North Carolina. Wow. Yeah, they're pay to win now. Enemy destroyers are Dive off the field. Squadron. Now we can start Take to off. get the uh, Dive bomber squadron. the Airborne. real damage in. Uh, this is where Taiho really excels because you can, if you are able to aim. <laughs> Torpedo You're able to squadron. basically take either take one out or cripple it to the point where it's not going to be much of a threat to your team at all. So you just can't do that on the Essex. So, However, Essex can protect your team from the air much better. I'm going to shelf my fighters just in case we get into another uh, fighter skirmish with the enemy CV. Now, if we're lucky... This Iowa just Damaconned his uh, flooding that he was on there. And keep in mind, Iowa does have some decent AA. It's Attack American target. battleship after all. So... Like I was saying, <laughs> the torpedo planes do hit very hard. So... Yeah, they are good for... Doing that high alpha strike. Fighter squadron to. flying out. Now we got a Alabama coming around the island up here in the north. Our team is not flanking, but is definitely uh, moving. 
enemy fighters are baited, but I don't think the carrier is paying too much attention at this point. I am not paying attention to my hull either. Uh, I want to move my hull out this way. Dive bomber and squadron, help take out off. With these Dive bomber squadron, over here. flying out. Feels like 1944. <laughs> and again, damage is low, but I use my first two uh, strike Airborne. waves on higher priority, less HP targets. I'm going to send fighters over to our friendly destroyer because he is out of AA range of the Neptune and Iowa. Neptune could potentially be a target. Iowa could potentially be a target. Both of those have pretty good AA. Alabama has good AA, but at the moment it's a tier 8 and a tier 9 game. So, unfortunately for him, Mathmaker decided to uh, screw his day up. <laughs> now, we did not get any fires. Attack but target! Hopefully, we'll get a flood here. And that we do. And like I said, probably the best, no, not probably the best uh, damage over time carrier. Oh, enemy fighters, and oh, we got away. Wow. I cannot believe that happened right there. We actually managed to get my fighters away from a, like, Really Our team is game. about That's, to win. It's weird. Anyway, uh, I don't think they're going to survive that though, just because our Lennon is out of AA range. We have a medium health Neptune and a Iowa. That's all that's in our way. Enemy fighters did kill my Stry Dive, or fighter squadron. wave, but that Flying doesn't really out. matter because, well, if you couldn't tell already, the enemy carrier is dead. So Neptune is the only. Enemy ship remaining. Torpedo bomber uh, squadron airborne. And we only lost a single battleship. I shot down 18 planes, killed two ships. One of them was a destroyer. And I don't think Neptune is going to Fighter survive squadron, long take enough off. for my planes to get there and kill him. These enemy fighters actually surprisingly were an issue, but. <laughs> There we go. I got a single bomb hit off of him. No battle star, but yeah, you can't be MVP on them all, can ya? Iowa makes, or not Iowa, sorry. Uh, Essex makes decent uh, bank and experience. Uh, I guess. So yeah, that's that's the Essex. Uh, now if you want her for like historic reasons she's a nice fun boat to play at tier 9 definitely an enjoyable experience next time we take a look at the tier 10 midway <laughs> the worst tier 10 cv because well it's all dive bombers it's kind of like the essex you get no it's still one one two but you get five bombers per squad and better model bombers so uh yep uh, stay safe with the pandemic going on and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.